Mr. Javelin Mark I all-weather jet fighter goes into service with the Royal Air Force. Hey guys, welcome to another heavy metal diecast video, and this one is by Sky Guardians Europe in 170 second scale diecast, of course. Uh, I bought this off a seller on eBay for $110, and uh, that was including delivery to me, and it is a Gloucester Javelin. So the Gloucester Javelin was a British-made all-weather interceptor, first entering RAF service in 1956. A total of 436 were made in all variants before its retirement in 1968. This aircraft is from 64 Squadron. Uh, which was first formed in 1916 before being disbanded in 1991. 64 Squadron flew Gloucester Javelins until 1967. And in the box, it is quite large. As you can see, it is uh, quite a big aircraft for, for an interceptor. It does have a little uh, munitions packet on the side here for the ordnance and a little, what looks to be a collector card in there. But uh, as you know, we say, it's no good in the box. We will get this out of the box and be right back and have a real good look at it. Okay, here we have it out of the box. It does come with its uh, little collector card. It does come with some little instructions. Uh, let's see if we can get those out. It's probably, jeez, try with my sausage fingers. So, so these are a limited run of 1,500 pieces. And these little instructions do fold out with any luck to something a bit bigger. Uh, not that much bigger. <laughs> these instructions are... Uh, they are quite small, so uh, depending on your eyesight, you may need to get some goggles to read these. And it does show all the placement of the ordnance and the landing gear and everything like that. Just get this. We'll get the stand from underneath. It does come with a stand, as you can see, and a little packet that does uh, sit underneath the aircraft packet. We'll get that lid off. We'll get this javelin out. Oh, this has got a... A little bit of weight, we'll move that packet out of the way. Um, this has got a, a fair bit of actually weight to the aircraft itself. Uh, it, I mean, it's big, it is pretty, this is pretty big for, for an inter interceptor fighter. Obviously, it's a two seater. There's actually a, a pilot already sitting in there, and there is a pilot in the uh, packet on the flap of the box. So, obviously, the canopy will, oh, canopy opens, slides like that, which is that's pretty cool. I've, does oh, does pull right off anyway so that's uh that's that's all right but um, we'll have a little look down the um, fuselage side here the panel lines are not overly deep it's not hugely deep i mean the present but compared to other models um they're not they're not overly overly deep on this particular uh, model I mean, some sometimes models do have them extremely exaggerated as well, but uh, these these ones are quite light. the The paint application is pretty good. The colours are very nice. I think I, it's almost like a uh, the uh, little brother of the Vulcan, really, with <laughs> similar sort of shape, but uh, definitely a, a half the size or a third of the size. But this is still fairly large sausage finger test. It's it's still a pretty large, a large fighter for sure. But uh, I reckon this, this, you know, it looks looks nice. I mean, this is the first jav javelin that I have bought. Um, I don't, I don't know if there's too many manufacturers that do bother making this particular aircraft. But uh, it is something, you know, that was out there in the military, and it's something a little bit different. And I try and collect as much different types of aircraft as I can, so that I, I can show them to you as well. Uh, you know, variety is the spice of life. So I reckon, yeah, this is still a you know, pretty cool looking unit for itself, for for what it is. And uh, what we'll do is we'll turn it over, have a look underneath. And it is quite, uh, well, it's all sort of bare metal or silver underneath. It is quite plain there. Obviously, there is um, the application of the ordnance that go in these sections here. And obviously the landing gear and the doors. And obviously the nose, nose will there. And that may be for the um, some other accessories or the stand possibly. Or I think the type of stands go in the engine tips here. I'm not 100% sure yet until we get to that. But I reckon it, it does present quite well. It is you know, it's very, very nice. But what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll kit this javelin out so you can have a look at it all complete. So here it is all kitted out. It was very straightforward. If you want wheels up, though, it's just these three little pieces in this little baggie here. 
Uh, everything went in perfectly with no dramas whatsoever. The uh, front nose wheel, gear bay doors, two of them there, drop straight in. Uh, gear bay door there and there, and then the main landing gear. The main landing gear does roll. The nose wheel does not. The, the ordnance does drop in. You have to put these pieces in on each side of the wing as well. Um, all those uh, ordnances just drop, drop straight in. Perfect. No dramas whatsoever. We'll uh, flip it up back over, right side up, and have a look at it all complete. You do have to put this section in here. Uh, that drops straight in with, without a drama. I did whack the uh, pilot in there, so both occupants are in there. And it, it does set up quite nicely. Overall, it presents very nice. Uh, I don't have a problem with it. You know, for, for a Javelin, a Gloucester Javelin, this, this is pretty cool. Uh, if you don't have one in your collection, if you're trying to get a collection um, of all sorts of aircraft, nothing you know specific, but you want to collect you know, aircraft of all nations sort of thing and all types. This is a pretty cool one to grab if you can find it. As I said, it is a limited run of 1,500 pieces, so I don't know how hard or easy they are to get. But uh, as I said, I bought this second hand and it's, it was still brand new and everything like that. Um, still perfect condition, not dusty. <laughs> and it's got some nice, like reasonable engine detail, but the details of the aircraft itself is really nice. The paint works nice, but as I said, the panel lines and are not overly um, deep on this particular model at all but yeah that's it I'll put it on the deck here and it sits there perfectly I won't zoom in on this because it is a pretty big big fighter like a uh, sausage finger test it is quite uh, quite large and once again this is a by Sky Guardians of Europe and it is 172nd scale die cars and this is the Gloucester Javelin from the RAF's 64th squadron and um, i reckon it's not too bad all right guys thank you so much as per usual you know the deal i will take some photos of this javelin and chuck them up at the conclusion of the video which is winding up now if you did enjoy the video at all hey throw us a like if you can spare that little bit of time and even subscribe to the channel if you are yet to do so all right thank you once again for watching one of my videos i do appreciate it immensely all right guys have a fantastic rest of your day cheers